the Joe Rogan experience. You're that connected to the ocean. What is it about the ocean that you, you, you always post pictures of the sunrise and the ocean? I don't think there's, you know, going surfing, just going, just going in the ocean. And plus my, my life was kind of being in the SEAL teams was always, we always had that. That was part of our life. You know, part of our life was the ocean growing up in the ocean. Just there's some, I don't know, you know, I guess, I guess for me, it's a huge like nature thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, people, you should be, you should go outside. Go outside and go hike in a mountain, you right. know, go, go to Montana and hike around, see what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Go to, go to Idaho, check that out. Go to the mountains, go to California mountains. Like, you feel different. You feel different. Yeah. You feel humbled. You feel small. You feel perspective. So the ocean does that for me. And it's just mind clearing, right? You go out surfing, like your mind is clear. It's kind of like jujitsu. Hey, you got to get out there. You're, you, you don't even know what you, sometimes you don't even, you know, you get done with a good role in jujitsu. And you say, well, I, hey, well, you don't barely even remember it because your mind is just gone. You're yeah. just monkey mind. Zen. It's total Zen state. Same thing with the being in the water for me surfing. Same thing. Like, oh, I'm out here and my mind is just empty. It's mm -hmm. monkey mind. And, and I think that's really good for you. Plus the fact it's humbling. Plus the fact it's healthy. So, yeah, I just have a, a strong connection to the ocean. I know my, my son's a real waterman, you know, he's out, he serves all the time. I'd hate to do that to him. And then my little daughter's getting her surfing on. So yeah, it's just one of those things, man. Yeah, I get it. There's a reason why surf towns, like like towns that are near the ocean are chill. Mm -hmm. like you get humbled by that. Mm -hmm. Like you take yourself seriously. Look at that fucking body <laughs> of water over there, stupid. Yeah. You, ain't, you ain't shit. I, you know, people say, well, what makes the SEAL team so good? In one of the major components is the ocean. Yeah. Because when you've got to do an operation that involves the water, it just sucks. It just, everything about it sucks. Everything about it sucks. You're getting in a, you know, you're parachuting from a plane into the water. It's nighttime. You got boat, you're just freaking parachute, like drifting around. You got to get your motor started. It's freezing cold. Boats flip over. Then you got to drive that boat to the beach and you got to drive through the surf zone. Your weapons are covered with sand. You're freezing cold. It's just, everything sucks. Everything sucks about it. So when that's kind of your starting, and by the way, you haven't even conducted your operation yet. You, you haven't even started the operation and you're freezing cold, you're tired, your radio got flooded out, your, your night vision goggles are freaking filled with sand, everything sucks. And now you got to conduct your operation. So in order to survive that way on a regular basis, that's one of the things that makes the SEAL teams good is we're, we're used to this one additional component all the time. Mm that you always have to deal with. You have to figure that out. You have to be able to gut through it. That's why in basic SEAL training, they just put you in the water for a long time. <laughs>